What's up, YouTube? It's Design Jedi again. Uh, and I saw this article from Screen Rant. I wanted to do a video on it. Star Wars reveals more Jedi survivors of Order 66. The latest Star Wars comic was revealed for more Jedi who survived Order 66. And if you don't know what that is, that's the order the Emperor gave to kill all the Jedi. And in a surprising twist, two of them are actually Jedi Masters. No doubt those two will be of particular interest to Darth Vader and his Inquisitors. Char Soul's Darth Vader series is set in the dark times after the foundation of the Empire, and it shows just how the Lord of the Sith became one of the most feared men in the galaxy. Already he claimed his lightsaber and brought terror to Mon Kala. Now, though, Darth Vader is free to pursue his true goal, to hunt down and slaughter as many surviving Jedi as he can find. Darth Vader 19 opens with Vader successfully tracking down Eeth Koth, a, a Zebrak who left the Jedi in disgrace during the Clone Wars. Needless to say, the encounter does not go well for Koth, and Vader returns to Coruscant successful in his mission to kill him and to take his newborn, likely Force-sensitive child. It's a chilling introduction to the issue, but it leads to a fascinating scene in which Vader and his Inquisitors ponder the fact that Jedi are becoming increasingly difficult to find. There's even a brief, a brief scene in which five names are shown, Jedi who have confirmed to survive Order 66 and are particular interest to the Dark Lord of the Sith. This is the list of surviving Jedi. Others may remain, but we are certain of these. Unfortunately, they have hidden themselves extremely well. That's a cool thing. The list is in Arabesh and is also back to front because readers are looking at the hologram from behind. Still, this hasn't stopped Star Wars fans from working out five of the names. The top of the least surprising, it seems, to Vader is still hunting for Yoda, but the next two are particularly interesting. Obo Rassis and Coleman Cock, both of them, both of whom served in the Jedi Council. Rancisis is a thespian male, and he was on the Council, though, through most of the prequel era. As such, he actually appeared in all three of the prequels. In the old expanded universe, he was one of the Jedi's most skilled tacticians and proved a tremendous asset during the Clone Wars. In contrast, Coleman Ka only became a member of the Council during the Clone Wars and was one of the Council members who expelled Ahsoka from the Order. Though he was on Coruscant for Revenge of the Sith, it seems Cutter Kajak managed to get off-world. Increasingly interesting, though, he also survived the now non-canon expanded universe, too. These may simply be Easter eggs for fans. Alternatively, Char's soul may be hinting at future plans for the Darth Vader series. After all, those, who t those are two members of the Jedi Council and the biggest and brightest of the entire Order. One of them has previously been killed as a skilled... As one of them has previously been treated as a skilled tactician. The fact that these two names are mentioned straight after Yoda suggests that the Empire view them as among the greatest threats to the Order. There are two more names in the list as well. Sirla Elos and Kamon Koli. These are new characters, but they may well be something of a joke. Sirlak Enras is an anagram for Char's soul, writer of the Darth Vader, and Kamon Koli is a reference to the book's Pinsler, <laughs> Gisipi Kon, come on, <laughs> I can't pronounce these names. Uh, read it yourself. It seems one of the perks of working on Star Wars is a creative team literally getting to turn themselves into Jedi. That's really cool. It's really interesting to see all the stuff that's coming out uh, at Disney. You know, uh, Marvel's now doing comics for uh, Star Wars, but man, this is pretty cool. Yeah, I thought I'd I thought I'd bring that to you guys. Read the article, I'll leave it down in the description. Let me know what you think in the comments.